Okay, today we're going to do a demonstration of a center grinder. This is a Swiss made Technica. Uh, a couple of things about the machine it is a uh, four, uh, 220 volt uh, three phase. Uh, this has a unique kind of a grinding head as compared to a center lap, like, such as a um, Excello or, or Jones and Shipman. Uh, this one, besides rotating the grinding wheel uh, in a rotary motion, it, it also has a reciprocating motion as well as a planetary motion going on. Um, so, in effect, you're actually grinding the center of your workpiece, not with the entire wheel and plunging down into it, but with line point contact with one point of the wheel that reciprocates on that same axis. So, uh, we have a grinding wheel which will rotate around its own spindle which we would use uh, for dressing the grinding wheel. This is a little guard on here for a dust collector or a vacuum. This is clamped up in place. I can believe. Excuse me. This is clamped in place and the dresser is kind of unique also because it has a unique style of movement. It rocks back and forth for a better contact with the stone. Of course you would have the wheel turning at this point and when you're done with the dresser it could be rotated back up out of the place. Um, also you have this, lo re this locating center. You would need to remove the grinding wheel but that would lock up underneath there and if you had a part that, say, wasn't cylindrical on the top here, with some odd shape but still had a center hole in it, you would use this along with this vise and some other special fixture that you could use to locate the centers exactly where you want them uh, so that they would be in the right position. Another unique thing about this machine is that it has this nice uh, three-point uh, clamping system here that, that holds everything, holds your, your, your part that you're going to grind the center, holds it nice in, in the center position to the grinding wheel. Because this whole head goes up and down um, like this very easily and then you lock it into position here and then you have a fine feed hand wheel to put it right where you want it. Also you have rather than having to push this up and push it down like some machines you've got a nice little hand wheel here to, to work with. Right, the spindle itself has a, uh, a oil mist lubricant to keep it lubricated. Uh, this is a special guard that goes over it that I have to close in order to turn it on. So we'll start with the, um, the rotary wheel. That's just your wheel spinning. And then we'll start with the reciprocating and planetary motion. You're going to have to come in here with the camera or, or under here somehow to, to get a look at that. Unless I can hold the switch in here. No, it wouldn't. Switch has to be held out. Uh, can we see in there at all with the camera if we get above it or? You can, you can see pretty good right through the glass here, I think. That's just your wheel spinning here. And of course, that's how you would dress the wheel. And you have three different RPMs, 1,400, 2,300, and 45,000. Excuse me, 14,000, 23,000, and 45,000. All right, so then we'll turn on the reciprocating and the planetary motion. Okay, if you bring the camera around here, if we can focus on this area here, there's a little box here. The center adjustment here adjusts the amount of up and down at the same time as the amount of, of planetary motion. They're both, they're, they're, they're both connected together. The more you go up and down, the, the more you're going to have of this planetary motion. The, the less you go up and down, obviously for a tiny, tiny, tiny center, you're not going to go up and down very much. That's adjusted here. 
we have a little light. And that's about as much as I can tell you about this. So I hope you enjoyed our little video. Thank you very much.